You are welcome to Tech Break. This is a platform that gives you all that you need to know in the world of technology. My name is Tony Alagugi. You're welcome this afternoon. Uh, today we want to look at the enabling power of technology. But don't forget that there's a flip side to technology. So, so many people actually use technology to enhance their value, their operations, even in management, in government, in industries, technology has been an enabler, but the bad guys are turned technology to something they are taking advantage of. So we will talk about that when we come back from this short break. Hi, my name is Kingsley. All right, those we read about on the headlines are those who follow trends. If you want to hear about the latest trends, keep watching Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. Trust me, you will get the first and best information right here. Cheers. I'm Adiola Eka, influencer, content strategist. Keep watching Tech Bridge on LTV. <laughs> Well, welcome back, and this is the platform, this is Tech Bridge, this is the station, this is Lagos Television. Uh, just before we went on short break, we spoke extensively about what it means to have power of technology. So we'll be looking at cybercrime and insecurity this afternoon. In the house, I have an expert who has been championing education for children, for youth, and how to have family life, family life, value for family life. So I have Von Thomas on this platform today. Thank you for having me, sir. You're welcome. So yes. let's look at this issue that is all over the world, which is cybercrime and insecurity. It is all over the place. I don't know where we can start from. What do we need to know about this? Well, um, it's become a global world now, and uh, <laughs> you like it or not, you have to become uh, ICT compliant. Yeah. Um, everything is living. Um, the physical to stay on the air. So everything is leaving the physical to go on the cloud. Yeah, that the is cloud. the power of technology. Yes. Okay. And um, rather than looking for a means of using technology for the positive aspect of, you know, empowering our economy or giving strength to our security, you know, some people would rather not walk towards that way, well, we, we want something easy. Mm. And something easy which another person has worked for and just, uh, you know, make a sieve of what has been saved. What I mean is you've saved something somewhere and somebody wants to poke hole there rather than walk their own way forward. These same people that we are complaining about what they do criminal uh, with computer, I tell you if they bring the same intelligence mm. to better things. We have strong hands in I've here. always been looking at that, just like you said, because mm -hmm. so many times, I think because people are looking for shortcuts of making money, mm -hmm. they don't believe that they should expend the same intelligence they have on positive things. Mm -hmm. They would rather want to take advantage of people. And that is why you see them in Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Plus, all manner of things. And they have gadgets and internet and data, and they are defrauding yeah. people. Now, now, it will shock you that whatever level of um, um, cyber crime we're still making noise about now in Nigeria is not as tech as you will expect. Why? Because most of us generally are not even ICT educated. So it's easy for them to fool around here in Nigeria with us. So the, the, the main thing is for everyone to be ICT compliant, to be techie savvy, yes. at least to know the basic things about technology. Yes. Your phone, your laptop, your data, okay? Go yes. Ahead. Because most, most of the children or boys or youth we're arresting right now, sit them down. They're not educated. They're not educated. Even if they're educated, they, are, they, are, they just believe they can use the negative aspect. The money it. is the focus. The money is yes, the Yes, the focus. money is the focus. That's the drive. Uh, I, I, and I think it's time enough for we in the nation to... Uh, use this to encourage the ICT sector more to make them understand, look, we don't need to borrow from overseas one thing or the other to advance. There's a boy they interviewed uh, recently, they, they, there's a nickname they gave him, they just gave him the nickname Wire Wire. When the boy just kept explaining, 
very uneducated but intelligent enough, which means education has pushed him out, but because of the easy money he wants to make, he's ready to sit down and use the same brain that did not accept him into school mm. to do the negative. To do fraud. Okay. 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 Now let's look at who are the victim of cybercrime. Well, um, for uh, national crime, that is NRC for regulations of them. Uh, within 2019 to 2020. 400% increase generally. You see, cybercrime, when you say who are the victims, everybody is. Everybody is, is, is um, susceptible victim. Yes. Okay. If right now everybody is using um, an Android, a phone, once you are connected to the cloud, mm. you're a victim <laughs> in any way. I hope people will not be running away from this. And but, no, no. but the truth is, the education, the awareness needs to be upscaled so that people can be aware. Yes. Okay. And, 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 and for some people, what I see again is um, in their own carelessness and um, lack of education concerning ICT, what you don't know, you like to tap. What does not concern you, you like to forward. Mm -hmm. uh, informations that are not particularly uh, necessary, you like to interfere in them. So they are just victims of uh, ignorance. I think on this platform we have advocated for people that before you share that thing, before you like, before you just be careful because those kind of links... Do you even know what you want to share? Exactly. <laughs> or you have a link... Is there a reason? Yeah, you, 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 you are just trying to make money. You must be careful about those links because behind it you have the bad guys. Yeah. Okay. Now let's quickly look at the disadvantage or the impact of cybercrime on our daily activities. Well... Um, Right now, psychologically, everybody is not happy. Wow. Everybody is careful. Mm. You don't even know how to greet or who to respond to. Mm. So there's a, uh, there's a uh, social um, disarray mm. to everything. Economically, I was in a bank recently when somebody ran in. He, says, he, said, he said, close my account, close my account, close my account. And the banker said, look, that is not how they did it. They asked your account, right? There is a procedure. He said, no, just close, just block. Because it, <laughs> she or he assumed that that's the way to stop the fraud. Yeah, because he had already started seeing the alert was going oh, off from his account. Oh so he ran into the closest bank. I was like, just close my account, just close my account. <laughs> and, you know, it was that day I was. I was. So, so there is insecurity at large. Mm. So that means trust is a major issue in this part of the world. Yes. Yeah. And um, ability to be able to even have trust in <laughs> technology. Even your big... children now, when you want to put in your code, you... You, you have to hide <laughs> that from them. So yes, because, you don't because know carelessly, yeah. they just discuss with anybody. Another, another example, there was a young boy that went to the ATM and was supposed to get some money back home. They just walked up to him and they told him what to do. They scared him. He emptied his mom's account. Accounts. And they gave him the ATM and they walked away. Wow. So you see, um, if, if we are all aware one way or the other, like, they, like there's a formula uh, for the ATM. Um, there's a way you can resend your password uh, backwards that it either takes in your ATM and does not release it. It's a, it's a coded way of... Uh, putting on your password okay. on uh, the ATM. Let me get that clear, as in if you go to ATM. Like if you are, for, if you are forced to go to the ATM, All right. and let's assume your code is one, two, three. All right. You can, you can, if you press the opposite of it, which is uh, four, five, or four, three, one, four, four, three, two, one, what it will take it, it will suck in the your ATM. Itself. So in wisdom, I know I'm saying it in the public, in wisdom, your ATM can't work again. No, no, no. We, we know that. We've advocated that on Tech Bridge at a time. Okay. There are two things. You can allow the security people and the staffs, even in the bank, yeah. by dialing some codes. Yes. So that we alert everybody. That, that, is one. That's the education. The other option is to put in a reverse, reverse. side of yes. your PAN. We yes. call it PAN, the 16 digit. Yes. And, and I mean, of your code. The moment you put it, it is. It is take the card itself and yeah. swallow it totally. Yes. While you are talking, a question came to my mind. We, we have this general understanding that our children need to use 
systems now in their schools. Yeah. And it's bringing in a lot of problems. But the, the, the people that have this mindset to make children to be techie savvy, have it positively, they, ha yes, they are thinking yes. positively, yes, so yes. that everybody can be ready for work. Yes. And yes. these days you have online schools, yes. online education, yes. online programs. But, but, but our children are suffering from pop-ups, things they are not looking for that pops up to them and how to manage it, and they don't immediately tell, ah, Mommy, this is what I saw popping up on my phone. They enjoy it, and while they collect your phone, you feel you are sitting before them, them, and they are doing something entirely different. So I think parents, parents should, there is no overprotection when it comes to mm. sit beside me, or let me see what, what you're, you're doing, doing. Yeah. or the parental control uh, uh, tips we put in, settings we put in now. Okay. Those ones to come. Vaughn, I, I think th there are two legs to this discussion. Okay. There is one aspect of the parents watching over their children, okay. the gadgets they have, the application, the sites they are visiting. Okay. If for parents who is not even techie savvy or literate, <laughs> how will it be able now, to Now, let's, let's help those parents. One, I should think the school where your children attend will tell you your child needs to use a system. So I think in PTA meetings, they should call for simple parent control, control. information. Like enlightenment. Uh, moment, yes, they need to enlighten the parents to make them understand that this is the limit to this, and this is what should be done, rather than just assume every parent knows. And parents, too, should voice out mm. to say, look, what you people are giving my children, you need to educate us too. Uh, because most of the assignments they bring now, it's not everything we know about. You know, I'm even smiling because we are in the technology age. Yeah. Some of these parents actually in the stone age, yes. they've gone to school with their slaves. You, you need to advance. You so need to advance. We're advocating on tech bridge that you need to advance. You need to, as a parent, you need to have a bit of technology speaking for you because you don't know the, the dent and the damage that that thing can do to you if you just allow your children to to just have all manner of gadgets. Mm. Now, let's quickly take it further. Um, apart from daily activities that cybercrime is on, because we're equally looking at insecurity. Okay. Insecurity is not just about security to life. Okay. Insecurity in time of uh, danger. Our finances. Our finances. <laughs> we have, these days we have FinTech, we have e-commerce, yeah. we have online stores, we have e-payments. Yeah. The national security. So let's talk about that more. Yeah. How can we prevent all this fraud all over the place? Uh, well, I don't think there is any way we can still go beyond and above going ahead in education. Education, yes. awareness. Yes. Okay. Sensitization. Sensitization. Yes. Then uh, we have to be a step ahead. You see, most of the antivirus you are using, <laughs> like one of my colleagues in the office will say, they will say the people that are selling the antivirus will create another virus so that you will buy another antivirus. So that they can make their own money. Yes. Mm, mm. So it's, it's an advanced world where nobody can stop at any particular level. We just need to just keep at it, so learning what is new. There must be awareness, there must be education, sensitization. there must be sensitization. But yeah. I equally want to look at, are there any gadgets you can use to prevent all these things? For example, in the bank, they will tell you don't disclose your... Uh, pain. Mm. Uh, what about, we've mentioned one of them which is parental control. Yeah. Yeah. That is for people that are using, um, uh, what's it called, cable TV yeah. or YouTube. Yeah. Because sometimes it's not just the damage done to financial world. Yeah. Some of these children actually watch horror movie, horror movie, pornography. pornography. Some that's of them, the, and the, it damages their conscience yes. and their mind. Yeah. So how can we prevent this apart from education? Uh, <laughs> Apart from education and parental control, I don't see. Uh, then there is one particular thing. Um, this might not be on your own ICT level of yeah. it. Relationship. Relationship. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. Yes, it's technology, but we can equally look at relationship. Relationship. The banks will tell me that I must do what is called KYC. Yes. Know your customer. Know your customer. It's customer. relationship. Relationship. Um, 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 it's funny that at home, most parents, uh, we all go to work. We all behave like uh, we are tenants with one another and come back. Our children have never seen us hold hands. They know what they watch is different from what mommy and daddy does at home. So uh, 
they need to expose the children by talking forward. Mm. Like major pop-ups are sexual. Mm. And um, um, when somebody brings about a way to connect with your child, to cyber bully your child, to pull the attention of your child, um, you know, like phishing, uh, trying to get information from your yeah, child. We call it phishing. Yes. And, and when they get this information, they're already inside your house. So I think parents and children need to communicate more enough to say, this is what we can share, this is what we cannot share. Uh, you don't trust outsiders more than you trust us. Parents, and I, I think it's still part of, of education. Relationship, too. education. Yes. But I call it want to advocate to parents yeah. that they should be mindful of the kind of gadget they give to their children. Yeah, that is one. Yes, it has to do with education. Mm -hmm. a, a number of uh, parents just buy phone, Android phone, tablet, laptop, and just give it to their children. That's, just that, like that's them. ignorance. Meanwhile, they need to look at it and request for a kind of settings that will not allow for phishing. Mm -hmm. Because if you do phishing, it will harvest all those data. Yeah. It will harvest some critical information yes. that the fraudster can make use of. Yes, yes. Okay, so I, I still think the relationship with parents and the school of their children is very important. Okay. Yes, if, if you want our children to use gadgets, can you give us a limit or tell us the kinds of gadgets okay. so that we can stay within that limit okay. rather than the usual just buying big, big Androids to give uh, I love that. I, I'm just looking at children are not the only one committing cyber crime. Yes. So we've spoken extensively about parents and children mm -hmm. managing cyber crime and insecurity. Mm -hmm. Can we look at other, 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 other group of people? <laughs> so we call some people white hat, some black hat. So the black guys, we always look for a means of exploiting people online. Mm. Are there things you have to say that has to do with managing this aspect? Because number of people want to go online to make a request to buy things, um, Jumia, Conga, and all those online mm -hmm. stores. But how can we prevent this? You have idea? Uh, the best way uh, is to stay within your limits. Stay within your limits. Yes. Yeah, Be mindful within. of the cookies. Some then people see you see cookies. this double authentication that we all use uh, to check our data or. That's on WhatsApp. Yes. Um, Facebook. Yes. Just look for the protective apps you can put in place that okay. can work for you. Protective app. Yes. That can I, work I, for I, you. I want to suggest that for a number of people, they just need to be mindful, like we've said, the kind of links they click. Then the, the attachments the, in attachments, spams, don't open them. Don't open it. Just leave it. Because there. we are talking about cyber cyber crime mm. and insecurity. Yeah. So insecurity has to do with security of your of your finances, yeah. security of what majorly you of watch, data, of data, majorly of data, and of all the things you do. So mm. and that is why we need to advocate more about this. But before mm. you go, can I quickly request that on the um, um, Children's Day, which is May 27. Can mm. we look at talking about this also, maybe on another bigger platform, because okay. it will really help to prepare young minds growing in a positive track. Anything that comes on the angle of relationship with, uh, of children with their families, that would be a good one for the nation. Oh, right. Okay, Vaughn, thank you for coming on this platform. Thank you, it, has, it has been wonderful talking about cyber crime and insecurity. insecurity. Our parents can cope all these things right from the time their children are young. Yeah. So thank you for coming on this platform. Thank you for having me. Sir. Uh, viewers, we want to thank you for watching this. Let's quickly go on short break and we'll be back. Hi, my name is Kingsley. All right, those we read about on the headlines are those who follow trends. If you want to hear about the latest trends, keep watching Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. Trust me, you will get the first and best information right here. Cheers. I'm Adiola Eka, influencer, content strategist. Keep watching Tech Bridge on LTV. <laughs> Well, welcome back from that break. The guest has spoken about cybercrime and insecurity. 
insecurity that has to do with your finance, that has to do with your life, that has to do with your property. We have done this, and we, there's, no, there's no limit to the advocacy we can preach on this platform because we know that if our society is safe enough, everybody will be better for it. So we'd like you to always join us at 1.30 on Tuesdays for latest information in the world of technology. My name is Tony Alagoke. I have to go for now. Bye.